America. And in person, here we go. Good morning. Good morning. We're gonna be fired up here in about three minutes. Three minutes. We're gonna go live. What's up, ladies? You dragging a little bit today, huh? You dragging too? <laughs> Out of town at a track meet. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, track meet. Yeah, track meet. They're every Saturday. every Saturday all day long, man. Watching. Yeah. yeah. Track meets are all day. Yeah. Rayleigh, this is her first time running a four hundred. So. Remember your breathing, baby girl. Just yeah. remember your breathing. That's all it boils down to. is it two minutes two minutes what's up kathleen what else we got on here we got samuel lashonda and elise hello hello <clears throat> there's our yoga instructor Right, guys, ready to rock and roll? What's up, Patricia? Sure. All right, all right, all right. It is 10 15. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. Hey, real quick, if I can uh, just say a quick prayer over everybody. 
Father God, thank you so much for the sunshine today. As I woke up this morning, I heard the birds chirping. Lord, I knew that you were in our hearts and I knew that you're in our mind. God, I'd ask that you protect the Clean Impact family and all of our team members. God, I ask that you give us courage and strength to navigate through life as we continue to overcome hurdles and continue to pursue, pursue you and your greatness, Lord. We ask that you be in our hearts and keep us protected and safe and healthy. It's in your son, Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Hey, who's going to stick around for yoga? All right, that's fine. Hey, we got some yoga. All right, that's good. Hey, you know what? It's all about trying to be our best, right? Like, like what other companies are having stuff like this on a Saturday and showing up with breakfast and then offering yoga afterwards and things like that? It's, I think it's really fun. The only reason why we can do it is because of the remarkable team that we have, because of the work and the energy and the effort that you guys put into serving our community and keeping people healthy. This is just one of the ways that we can help keep our bodies healthy. If we don't stay healthy, we won't be able to keep other people healthy. I don't know about anybody else, but when I wake up in the morning, I can barely walk. Every day, I can barely walk. And it's been like that for, you know, I've worked 20 years in construction. It wears on your body, pouring concrete and jackhammering all the time. It wears on your body. But every day wears on your body. Normal wear and tear wears you out. I have to stretch every single morning before I go to bed and when I wake up. I have to. Otherwise, I can't sleep and I can't wake up. So these practices of yoga is stuff that we can use in our closets before we get ready. It's stuff we can use when we get out of bed in the morning, but it's to get your mind fresh. It's to wake your body up. And most importantly, it's to help keep you loose and limber because at the end of the day, our body, we only get one of them. And at the end of it, you're going to look back and say, gosh, I wish I would have taken better care of myself. Man, if I would have just learned to stretch a little bit longer ago, I'd have been in better shape right now. You know, our glory years are later on in life. We're supposed to be able to enjoy those golden years and not be broke down and not be able to move. So yoga is just one of those things that has impacted my life. I started about six, seven years ago. And I think it's absolutely amazing. Actually, Sam's wife, Andrea, is who introduced me to yoga. And that's who's going to be teaching us today. So if you could stick around, that'd be fantastic. If you feel uncomfortable, don't feel uncomfortable, guys. We're all in this together. You can wear whatever clothes you have on. We have all the mats and everything. She brought everything. So please participate. Even if you just want to watch and learn something, that's cool, too. I know we have YouTube and all that stuff that we can find all these information on. But it's really nice to, to ask a professional, hey, what if I move my hip back this way? Or she could help adjust, you know. So it's, it's really neat. So. I, I ask that you guys take advantage of it if possible. If not, it's a beautiful day out in the woods. It's going to be a beautiful day today. Let's hang out and have some fun afterwards. So who in here is, uh, do you remember, uh, 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 what is that, with Al Bundy? Al Bundy. Married with children. Married with children. Who, who in here knows married with children? Yeah. So you know Al Bundy, man. He lives in the glory days, doesn't he? The glory days, man. Back when I was in high school, I was a football. I caught that one pass, and he lives in the, in, the, in the past. He lives in the past and he thinks that his glory days are all behind him. So he's always lur lurking backwards at the glory days of what used to be. But what happens when you focus your energy on the past? You're not looking forward to your dreams and your aspirations. You want to focus your energy on your dreams and your goals, things you want to be. The past has already happened. Yes, it helps shape us to who we are. The past created who we are, but it's not who we are now. Who we are now is who we are now. And living back there doesn't allow us to look towards the future and project out what we actually want out of life. The good things in our life. The glory days have yet to happen. The glory days have yet to happen because as we continue to get older and as we continue to have experiences, we're learning more. We're learning how to be our best. We're getting inside our heads and we're understanding ourselves better. I don't know about you. When I was in my 20s, I was a knucklehead. When I was in my 30s, I'm a knucklehead. Now I'm in my 40s, I'm still a knucklehead, but I'm a little less of a knucklehead. Because I'm learning how to help myself. I'm learning how to control my thoughts and my emotions and things like that and identify emotions. So when something crazy happens to you and your, your blood starts boiling, there, that's a reaction to something. That's a reaction to something that you're in complete control of how you react to that. You can, you can take a breath. <sighs> Remember, every time before we started move, or our huddles, we usually start with breathing techniques. And I decided not to do that tonight because the food's good and I want to spit all over everybody. So Remember. Take that breath. Identify that feeling. Identify the emotion. See why it caused it. And then project yourself on being your best. Think about how to handle those things, how to handle those things. So history and memories are just are, are they're, they're too easy. They're too easy to live in. Right. We have our phones. It's always reminding us every look what happened two years ago. Look at this memory. Look at this hype. You're always jacking on your phone and looking around. And it's easy to look at the past. It's easy to look at the past. And that's fun. Again, memories are great. But it takes away from the projection and the dreams, the vision and the imagination. Think back when you're a kid, man, you can go outside and play all day long and, and make stuff out of rocks and create your, your imaginative, your, your creative. We lose this as we continue to grow up in adults. We lose this childlike tendencies to have fun, to enjoy the little things, to laser focus in on something. 
to laser focus in on something. So it, it's called, it, and there's a technical term for it, and I'm not smart enough to remember what it is, but if you can focus on the head of a pin and nothing else, just like, I just focus on the head of a pin, you're extremely present just looking at that pin or that grain of sand or that leaf, not the tree, a leaf, focus in on the veins. And that what that does is it pulls you into the present. It pulls you into the present, takes all that other life hurdles and, and challenges away from you. It, it removes it because you're focused on the present. Well, grounding is when you take your shoes off and walk in the sand, which is good, too. <laughs> so, well, see, next time we'll have a, we'll have a beach volleyball pit set up out here. <laughs> so, so, like I said, looking to the past is not who we are now. It's who, how it created us to be the person that we are. So, guys, as, as we always talk about, it's just about being our best. It's about showing up for ourselves first so we can be our best for ourselves. And, we, and I don't know anybody that goes through any day that runs out perfect. There's nothing that's perfect about any day, but that's only a moment. You can't let that bad moment make a bad day. Have you, has anybody ever done that? That bad moment just ruins your whole day. Man, I woke up on the wrong side of bed. I'm having tough. That was a moment in time. It's gone. It's gone. We're creating that bad day in our minds. We're imagining a bad day because we're our mind doesn't want us to feel weird or that we're broken or something. So our mind's like, yeah, you said you had a bad day. Look, here's another bad thing. Here's another bad thing. Here's another bad thing. The same thing goes if you're thinking good things. Your mind doesn't want you to feel wrong again, so it's going to say good things. Here's another good thing. Here's another good thing. Here's another good thing. It's about elevating your thoughts and elevating your mind so that you can be present and realize that that's just a moment in time. How you deal with that moment in time is just that moment. You're projecting out to the future. You're imagining a better a better life. You're imagining a better existence. You're imagining your purpose. We all have to have a purpose. So the word that I've been meditating on a lot in the last month or so has been fulfillment. Fulfillment. That is when your heart is happy. That's when your heart is happy. So if you ever had a day where you're just jamming through your day, you feel amazing. You're, you're getting all your yard work done. You got your kitchen cleaned up. You got the groceries put away. You got the dishes clean. You feel good, right? At the end of the day, you feel good when you have fulfilled your promises to yourself. You fulfilled your promise to yourself. And then at the end of the day, you can lay your head on the pillow and say, man, I put everything I had in that day. I feel fulfilled. I feel fulfilled. I feel good. This is what we're looking. This is the ultimate goal in life. I say happiness, but I like to now I'm projecting into fulfillment. At the end of the day, we want to be happy. Everything that we're doing right now is to find happiness, to, to, to be able to buy that thing or to be able to have that experience or be able to go on that trip or be able to spend time with your family. That's happiness. But all that boils down to fulfillment. You're living up to your full potential. You feel good. You feel good. So sometimes when I'm down, I get down a lot. I don't know about you guys, but I, man, life is tough. It never stops coming. It never stops happening. You just keep focusing on, you just keep focusing on those things. But that day, whenever I always say action cures anxiety. So when I'm feeling like that, man, I need to get up and do something. I've had my wife sit out here multiple times. She's at a track meet today with my daughter. So she's not here. Otherwise she'd be here. And she'd said hi to everybody. She misses not being here, but she knows that I lost my train of thought. Start, start thinking about really running in track. So <laughs> what's that? Fulfillment. Fulfillment. Yeah. That's always the thing. Fulfillment is key, <laughs> but at a time where you're in your life where you just got things done, you feel happy. But in order to feel fulfilled, you got to have a game plan. Right? You don't just haphazardly make it through a day and be like, man, I feel great today. you got to have a game plan. Does everybody agree with that? You need to have a goal and a game plan to get that fulfillment. Is that right? Yeah. I am the king of lists. Right? Yeah. Lists. I make them every day. I make them every weekend. And I feel fulfilled when I check those items off the list. Because every time you go through a day, you're like, well, what would you do today? Well, I did a little bit of this. I hung out here. I did. I, I don't really know. What did you do? I don't know. Now, so what did you do today? Well, I did this, 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 this. Look, at they're all crossed off. And every time you cross one of those things off, you're feeling fulfilled. That makes you feel happy. And plus, you get the reward of crossing something off, knowing that you completed it and you completed it to the best of your ability. That is fulfillment. So I just ask that you guys think about that word. Just think about that word, man. How? What's going to make me fulfilled? What are my dreams? What am I imagining? What's my future look like? Look towards the future. And the future is bright. The future is bright. There's a lot of turmoil happening right now. There's an election going on. There's all kinds of bull crap happening. But that doesn't matter. That's that, that does concern you. And you have to focus that. But you can't make that your identity. You can't make any of those external factors your identity because you can't control those factors. You can't control any of that stuff. I could walk out here right now and trip. I can kind of control it if I'm watching what I'm doing. But sometimes you don't do it. But you can control how you react to somebody. You can't control what somebody says to you. Maybe you uh, accidentally upset somebody. They can blow up and cuss and be mad at you. 
how you react to that is up to you. What they say, man, that's on them. They're having a bad day. That's on them. But I'm going to take that and I'm going to I'm going to turn it. And I know that I am above that. I know that I'm in control of the situation. I can handle my emotions and I'm moving forward. Doesn't always happen, especially with kids. Whew. Man, you try and try. Man, they push buttons. Who, who agrees kids push buttons? Man, it's because they live in this imaginary life. They're loving it. They're dreaming about things. But then they don't have the life lessons yet. They don't have those life lessons yet to understand. But that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing as their adults is we're teaching in these things. And if I would have learned these things earlier in life, I would have saved myself a lot of headaches. I would have saved myself a lot of problems and probably a couple of broken noses from getting in fights because that's dumb. <laughs> but you got to be in control of it. So I'm teaching my kids those things right now. And I'm hoping the lessons that we talk about all the time, the videos that we talk about, and I say it often. It's for me and selfishly for me. But since I'm working on it, maybe somebody else can benefit from it. And I'm by no means very smart. I'm not a very smart guy. I'm not a gifted guy. God didn't bless me with a bunch of gifts. I don't have rich family. I don't have any of that stuff. But we work hard to get what we're doing. We work hard to get what we're doing and we feel fulfilled afterwards. But it's up to us. It's absolutely up to us. So there's a good saying that I like, and it's about living in the past. You want to use your memories, but don't let your memories use you. Use your memories, but don't let your memories use you. That means I'm not going to live in those glory days. I'm going to use them to, to build up the person that I am, the identity that I've created, and the influence that I can have on those that are looking to us. But I'm not going to let it dictate how I'm doing. What I did then, that built me up to what I'm doing now, but I'm focusing on the big picture. I'm focusing on my dreams and my ambitions, the things that I want to be. Because what you focus your energy on, you attract. If you're focusing energy on all the bad things in the past or any, any good things in the past, that's just the past. You want to focus your energy, whatever you focus on, you will bring into your mind. So, again, bad day, good day, you're focusing on it, you're going to bring it to your life. So that is the little bit of a lesson for today. Uh, and that's what, but now we're going to get into some nuts and bolts, uh, a few little tactic tricks that we're going to do. But again, just take away the one thing, fulfillment, but you have to have a plan. You have to write it down. Just make a list. Even if it's just two things on that list, make a list, but don't lie to yourself. Don't lie to yourself and say, I'm going to do something and then not do it. Because that creates a whole world of problems. If you lie to yourself and you don't do what you say you're going to do, you're often, often, often going to continue. Well, I'm just going to take the easy path. I'm going to take the easy way. Man, the easy way doesn't create anything. The easy way does not create anything except for a stream with water that they're looking for the path of least resistance. But we have to take the challenges in life because that's what grows us into better people. That's what changes us. That's what grows us. And that's what gives us the education. So um, that's it on the lesson. So a couple of nuts and bolts for the world's greatest clean team. First off, guys, thank you guys, everybody, for coming out today. For, and for sharing a Saturday with us. I hope the breakfast was good. I hope you guys can stick around afterwards. But I'm so grateful every time I see these smiling, fun faces in here that are just in pursuit of their first elections. I am, my heart is warmed up, so thank you guys very much for that. And most importantly, thank you for taking this energy that you're bringing to this room out to our community and serving the customers and serving our community at a very high level. This is, this is uncommon for cleaning professionals to have the reputation that everybody in this room has. And you only, you have that because of your fulfillment that you're done. You made a promise to yourself that you're going to be your best. You made a promise to yourself you're going to keep people healthy. You made a promise to yourself you're going to be a good example. That's why we can do it. So thank you guys for sharing that Saturday. Um, new phone number for everybody. If you guys need to get a hold of a night hero or if you need to get a hold of, of anybody in the office here, there's one phone number. One phone number. And, and I will make sure that everybody has it afterwards. And it's uh, 670-2004. Starting, Starting on Monday. That is the only way to get a hold of anybody is that phone number. And what it does is what's happening is as we continue to be our best in the community, customers want to have the Clean Impact team come help them out. As customers continue to want to have the Clean Impact team helping them out, we need to have more team members. So, And to have more team members, we need to do more inspections because we're holding ourselves to very high standards. right? We're holding ourselves to very high standards. We want to inspect what we expect. So we need more night heroes. We need more things like that. And so we need, and what happens when Night Hero gets a phone, everybody gets that phone number. That's the only phone number they have. But what if Mike's off tonight? You don't know really how to get a hold of Angie. Now, they, they try to switch phones back and forth, but man, that's a logistical nightmare. And these guys have a hard enough time, or a challenging enough job right now, trying to keep everything in line. We're just trying to find easier ways. So any phone number you have, or any, any call you make is going to go to that one phone number. And uh, an answering service in, here in town, Young Security, is going to answer the phone and direct you to the Night Hero that's on that night. If it's after five o'clock, it's going to go to a night hero. If it's from nine to, to five o'clock, it's going to ring here in the office. So 
It's, 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 it's easier for everybody to, to do it that way. And plus, we want you guys to have full access anytime you need it. We want you guys to have full access. We want to be able to help you guys out if you need it. So that's why we want to make sure we have this common number so everybody knows what's going on. Does that make sense? Pretty easy? The challenging part with the new phone number is text messages are no longer accepted. Text messages are no longer accepted because, <laughs> and the reason why is when you text that one person, nobody else can see except for that one person. Maybe they're on vacation. Maybe Angie's on vacation. Maybe Mike's on vacation. Somebody might not see it. Text messages are not going to apply anymore, but we do have, and we will roll it out. We're not done yet, but it's a messaging system on SWEP. So that'll come out. But anything that you have, you need to make sure you're calling or leaving it on your location on sweat to let us know. So uh, everybody cool with that? Everybody cool with that? All right, cool. Next thing we have is, uh, so whenever we first got started, I was involved with every single building. I cleaned every single building, usually next to Angie for the first four years. And I was familiar with it. I knew what the customers liked. I knew what they needed. I knew what they wanted. I knew any hot spots. I knew somebody that might complain about something. I knew all these things. Unfortunately, I don't know them anymore. But the professionals in this room know these things. So what we want to do is we want to challenge everybody to create a video of their location. So if you have a home, if it's your building, we're going to ask, we're going to challenge everybody to make a video. And there's a simple template. We're going to start at the back or the door we enter in. We're going to take a video. We're going to say, this is where I park at. This is where I go in at. This is how I get down to my closet. You just video the whole time. And then you're going to take that, that same video and you're going to take your trash route. Like the route that you do first thing, you're, going to, you're supposed to sweep the whole building and get all the trash out first thing. That allows you to put your eyes on the building, but just walk around and talk about hot spots. I don't expect you to go into every office. Like, this is office number 102. It's office 103. That's not what I'm saying. We're going to walk down and we're going to say, hey, this guy right here, it's very important that we put his trash can back where it belongs. Hey, this one over here, it's a great spot, but what I've noticed is the trash can's hidden in this thing right here. What that does is it helps if once you're on vacation, which we encourage you guys to take, we encourage you guys to take the vacation with proper notice. Somebody comes into your building, you want your customer to be taken care of. You don't want to come in on Monday and be like, hey, what you do on Friday? It looks terrible in here. It wasn't me. I wasn't here. They don't, they don't care about that. So it, it helps us provide this, this superior quality service over and over again because you guys know your buildings better than anybody. You guys get the feedback from us that, we, that the customer gives to us. And you know what's what's needed to be done, right? Is everybody pretty comfortable with their buildings for the most part? Now, it's not mandatory to take this video. I know some people get uncomfortable. I'm not taking it like, why, like me walking around with a selfie stick. You, ain't got to, you don't have to put yourself in the video. All it is is your voice. All it is is your voice. You don't even have to say anything. Just walk around, talk about this thing. We'll give you a template. Is anybody willing to do that? Thank you. Thank you. Because what happens is we've had this on the list. Angie's made me a list of every place that has videos, that need updated videos, all the stuff. It's been sitting on my desk for a year and a half. Because there's a lot of places, and and uh, but I figured this would be the best way. So we're going to have limited edition special T-shirts made for those people that create these videos. Nobody else is going to have them. It's going to be a fancy shirt with some cool writing on. Yes, sir. We do this like before we start doing anything, right when we get to work. Yes, sir. So to see what we're walking into. That would be great. Yeah. So and and Frank asked, can we do this thing? Should we do it right in the beginning of it? So that way you can actually see what you're walking into. That's an excellent idea. That's an excellent idea. But again, we don't need to make them long or long winded. I know I talk a lot, so I, that's why I can't do it. Because I'll be like, oh, look at this. Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, squirrel. <laughs> so this is going to be a quick walkthrough, you know, talking about your building. And then, then there's going to be a scan code that you scan it. You scan the scan code. It's going to pull up a picture. You tap on the link. You can upload the photo. It's super, or upload the video. It's really easy. You don't have to have any apps. You don't have to have anything. All you have to do is open up your camera, scan the code, tap, tap upload, choose your camera or choose your video, and put it in there. So super easy. So I will edit. I will edit it. Yeah, and I'll put. I'll make a tutorial for all this stuff. I just wanted to in introduce it to you guys first. Get some feels out. To see if, if it's if it's something that we can do. But yeah, I'll edit those things. You don't have to worry if you're walking down the hallway. It takes you thirty seconds to walk down the hallway. Don't worry. I'll put that in rabbit mode. I'll cut some of it out and stuff. So, but it'll really, really help, and it'll help make uh, our service a lot better. It's great already. But here's the thing, guys. I don't know if you know about it, but everybody's talking about recession. Everybody's talking about money's drying up and, and the state going broke and nobody having any money. That's a reality. That's a reality. We had two calls last week from great customers that said, Hey guys, corporate said, we got to make cuts. We got to make cuts. We got to cut here. Everything's on the table. We got to cut. So what we got to do 
is first off, we have to have that high perceived value. Everybody thinks, well, I just cut the cleaning team out. What happens when you get the sniffles and you got 15 or, you know, 15 percent of your, your workforce out because you're sick? It doesn't make any dang sense. But our job as professionals is to bring that high value to them. And we're going to be making some adjustments on the backside to help keep these customers say, hey, we need to make cuts. We, we can make cuts. Well, that's going to cut out of, you know, the, the overall. It's not going to cut anybody's wages or anything, but it cuts out of the, the extra stuff that we're allowed to do. But that's just part of the game right now. That's just part of the game. I say that to you guys, not to scare anybody. I say that to you guys because I want to inform you guys. You're, you're part of our family. We all got to be on the same page. We all got to understand what's going on. But knowing that we're confident that we are our best and we're putting everything that we have into this stuff, we're going to rise to the top at the end of all this stuff. And, and, and Clean Impact is going to be, uh, is obviously one of the elite producers now. It's going to be the most elite producer in the entire world before this is over with. So it's only, it can only happen because of you guys. It can only happen because of you guys. But that means we got to stay focused. That means we got to create these videos. That means we have to do our due diligence to, to post our checklist. That means we have to do our due diligence to go through and inspect what we did. Guys, at the end of the shift, that's the time for us to go through and inspect what we did. Man, walk around. <sighs> enjoy your glory, man. Look at all this great stuff. Now, I know that was the past, but you can still enjoy it right now, too. I did that in the past. I cleaned it yesterday. Or I cleaned it an hour ago. But you can still enjoy that part of it. So that's how we get better. We're always, always, always looking for new customers. So if you guys know of anybody, uh, you know, maybe a business manager or somebody that's in charge of maintenance and you notice that their place is dirty, all you got to do is open the door. Hey, I work for a great company. We take pride in what we do. We do what we say we're going to do every time. We don't, we don't skim, but we don't miss shifts. We don't miss cleans. We don't change stuff up on you. We do what we say we're going to do. You can be proud of the fact that you can give us a referral. You can give the Clean Impact team a referral, but that doesn't come for no cost. You get paid to give referrals and it can be a significant amount of money. It can be a, so any referral that you bring to us, say, hey, I got so-and-so. Here's their direct phone number. I've already reached out to them and thought it'd be a great call. Here, give them a call. Don't just come to me with the yellow page like, hey, you should try this and this and this. That doesn't count. I can make phone calls. Sam can make phone calls like that. But you said, I got a warm lead. I already talked to them. I said, you're going to be calling them. Then we're going to write your name down. Oh, we talked to them. They talked to Naku. Okay, cool. So now we know who to give that bonus check to. That bonus check can be a significant amount of money too. So. Focus in on that. We're all we're all salesmen. We're all proud of what we're doing. We're all focused because if we don't, if we're not the ones cleaning their building, it's going to be some joker that's not taking care of them. If we're not in there doing their service for them, they're going to suffer. So it is up to us to elevate those 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 clients, those potential clients, to be taken care of and being kept safe and healthy. So it's really important. Same thing goes with referrals. You guys know somebody that's awesome that would be a good fit for our team, somebody that's remarkable, somebody that does what they say they're going to do, somebody that's living up to their potential, somebody that's trying, somebody that's trying to be their best, bring them in. Bring them in. If they stick around, you guys get a $100 bonus on that too. So we're always looking for great people, and it's the ultimate compliment. If y'all bring somebody that you love into this family, that is the ultimate compliment to us. That's the ultimate compliment to everybody in this room because they believe in you. If they're going to bring somebody they love in there, they believe in you. And that, man, that makes you happy. That makes you happy because at the end of the day, that is fulfillment. At the end of the day, that is fulfillment. And we all want to be fulfilled. <clears throat> if I got any questions, that's all I have for today. That was it. All right, all right, all right. Nothing? Yeah. All right, so uh, we do have yoga. Don't forget about that. If y'all want to try it out, let's go for it. It'll help wake you up. I promise Trina and Brandon were at a concert till 4 o'clock this morning. So uh, they need a little help with yoga. But I do have some uh, prizes to give away, too. Okay. Can you come in here? Huh? Was it somebody to give? No, I don't know. Oh, okay. Thank you. All right, so we got some cash. We always talk about how plastic is junk and it's ruining the world. We don't want to get plastic junk anymore. So we have cash for the adults. We also have some cash for some kids. I'm probably just going to do uh, probably just going to do three for the kids and add the ones back to the adults too. So we'll see what happens. So I'm just going to draw out a name. Must be present to win. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Linda! Linda! Trina! Trina! 
Kelly B. So, hey, real quick, Trina and Brandon help out at one of the schools that we have, and we have what's called the clean class club at this school. Because the kids were leaving all their stuff all over the floor, paper and pencils and books and junk all over the place. It was really hard to clean. So what we created, because we're pioneers and because we're different than everybody else, we created an entire program that we're, pi we're, we're piloting there, but we plan to expand it to all our schools. And it, every month or every week, we draw the, 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 the classroom that has the cleanest, and Brandon and Trina do a great job of documenting this thing. We draw a name out of the hat, or whoever has the cleanest classroom all week, we take a treasure chest in there. The kids get to draw from the treasure chest, make a big deal out of it, make a video on YouTube, and, and they get to say hi to all their friends, and they play it for all the whole school, and it's really neat. And then what we've done now, and then at the end of the month, the person with the most treasure chest draws gets a pizza party. And then, so now what we're doing is we're having a magic show. So we're, we've hired a magician to come in and perform for the whole school if the kids have one sticker left at the end of the quarter. So now we're doing three months. Every day, you do something wrong, you lose a sticker. And there has been 90% of classrooms have not lost a single sticker. That means these kids are bringing these, they're, they're, they're bringing these, these uh, this solid foundation to their houses. They're showing their parents how to clean their rooms. They're picking up for themselves after dinner. They're doing things like this. We're creating the future generation of people that care about being safe and healthy. So that's freaking cool, man. So good yeah. job, guys. Thank you very much. They worked very hard to get that right. So, uh, Kelly, sorry. Uh, Kelly. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Squirrel. Squirrel. Yeah. Double dip and then the dove. Yeah. Our fearless leader. <laughs> what? Kids are gone. Let's draw more names for the adults. Well, guys, again, 
Hang out as long as you want. I have nothing going on today. In the meantime, we're going to get set up for some yoga. I don't know. Where you, how many people are doing yoga again? One, two, three, four. Four. All right. So we can do it. We're going to do it inside. Yeah. Hey. It'd be foolish not to go walk in the woods right now. It might look like it's muddy because it's been raining out there, but it's got great drainage out there. It's pretty dry. What's that? Well, I'm fine for some mud. We go on this side. I can get some mud. That's no problem. If you're going to be like Frank and go out looking at mushrooms, you got to teach me. Yeah, yeah. Still live. I can shut this off now. Y'all have a wonderful day. If you stuck around, thank you so much. Rockstar. <laughs> oh, that's fun. That's fun. I love it. Hey, brother.